Shalom family, welcome to today. The verse I have for us is Luke 1, 63 and 64. It says, he asked for a writing tablet and to everyone's astonishment, he wrote, his name is John. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue set free and he began to speak, praising God. So what's happening in this verse is Zechariah has been unable to speak since the angel Gabriel visit him, visited him and told him that he and his wife Elizabeth would have a son in their old age and they are to name this son John. Zechariah lost his ability to speak because of his doubt. But once the baby is born, Zechariah writes a message that displays his belief and so he regains his ability to talk. And I wanted to share this passage because it displays that written words hold just as much power as spoken words. In fact, sometimes what we can't for whatever reason communicate verbally, we can communicate through pen and paper or keyboard and computer screen. We see the danger of this online. As I said at the beginning of this week, I don't like censorship being forced on us, but I am not blind to the spirit of meanness that is running rampant on comment sections and in online forums. However, we see the benefit of gracious words in God's word, whether through speech or print, we must always be asking ourselves if the words we are releasing into the world are gracious. My prayer today is our words demonstrate our faith and just like the freedom Zechariah experienced when he spoke truth, I pray that we experience the freedom of standing in agreement with the Lord. I love you all. Have a blessed day. Shalom.